Hello everybody. Today, first, I'm going to show you how to create voice experiences similar to Alexa on a tiny microcontroller using Pico Voice Shepard without writing a single line of code. After that, I will explain how to integrate Pico Voice AI into your projects. I should mention Pico Voice AI runs entirely on device without requiring any connectivity. So without further ado, let's go and learn how to use Pico Voice Shepard and Pico Voice SDK for microcontrollers. I'm today using my MacBook, but everything I mentioned in this tutorial is cross-platform and can be done on Windows and Ubuntu as well. Pico Voice Shepard requires Python to be installed on your system. So if you don't have it, just go to Python official website, download Python and install it. With that out of the way, let's jump to Shepard now. Open a terminal. Install Shepard by simply typing pip3 install pvshepard. That's it. Now you can run Pico Voice Shepard just by calling it from terminal. On the first page, you need to select a board from all the supported boards on this list. For the sake of this tutorial, I will choose STM32F11 Discovery Board. After making sure that the selected board is connected to the computer, click on the Upload Firmware button. It will take some time to deploy the PicoVoice firmware to the board, so please wait. Great! PicoVoice firmware is on the board right now. And now it's time to pick and upload wake word and context models to the board. On the top, you will find the chip UID for the board that is connected to the computer. This code is needed to create a custom wake word and context later using PicoVoice console. In the middle, we can select Porcupine and Rhino models. When you say something like Alexa, turn on the lights. Alexa is basically the wake word. Our Porcupine engine spot these wake words. Next, our Rhino which is a speech to intent engine, extract the intent from the follow-on spoken command. For now, let's go with the default models. As shown, Porcupine, our wake word engine, takes Pico Voice as the wake word and Rhino, our speech to intent engine, is using a smart lighting context. So go ahead and click on use default models. Here, on the top, the board's real-time volumeter and CPU usage are shown. On the left, there are two sliders that let you independently change the sensitivity of Porcupine and Rhino on the fly. The sensitivity parameters control the trade-off between the miss rate and false alarm. A higher sensitivity reduces the miss rate at the cost of increased false alarm rate. Now, let's see the details of the smart lighting context by clicking on the Show Context button. This one seems interesting to me. Scroll down to see the possible value of color and location slots. I'm gonna pick green for color and kitchen for location. So close this pop-up window. Console prints all messages received from the board. At this stage, the board is listening for the wake word. Pick a voice. Set the color in the kitchen to green. As printed, the board first identified the wake word and listened for the defined intents in the context. Shepard also comes with an audio debugging tool. So, if the board doesn't respond to your voice, go to this section and record your voice. Pico voice. You can also save it somewhere on your computer and listen to the recorded audio to make sure that the microphone is working correctly. Now that we deployed the default models, let's go and create custom models for ourselves. For this, go back to the second page, then click on the copy button to copy the UID code to your clipboard. After that, Head to PicoVoice console, which is our online tool to design Porcupine and Rhino models.
If you don't have an account, create one, as it is free for personal use, and enterprises have a 3-day free trial. Once you log in to PicoVoice Voice Console, click on Porcupine, our wakeboard engine. Enter your wake phrase in this text box. The choice of phrase is important for both accuracy and user experience. Shepherd seems like a good wake word to me. Once you have selected your wake word, click on the train button. Here are all the supported platforms by Pico Voice AI. The wake word models created by console are platform specific. Since we are working with an ARM microcontroller, I'm going to select ARM Cortex-M. Now, console asks us about board type and UUID for the board. I'm going to select STM32 and paste here the value that I copied earlier. Agree to the term of use, and if everything seems OK, train the model. The model is now being trained. We will be able to download it within a few hours. A unique feature of Pico Voice Console is that it allows testing within the browser. Test the train model in your browser using the microphone button on the right hand side of the screen. Shepherd. While the wake word is being trained for us, let us go and create a custom context as well. First, navigate to the Rhino Speech to Intent console. Pick a name for your model. I will go with Pico LED. Click on the Create Context. Once completed, it appears in your list of contexts. Click on the context name to go to the context editor. At the top level, a context is a collection of intents. For example, turning LEDs on or off can be a user intent in the context of Pico LED. Create an intent called Turn LED. A user can utter an intent in several ways. Each variation of a spoken command is called an expression. For example, turn off all LEDs and turn the LEDs off both map to the turn LED intent. Add this expression to the turn LED intent. You can again test the context at design time within the browser. Click on the microphone icon on the right. Pick a voice console, then save the context into your account, train a Rhino model for it, and then loads it into your browser. When the microphone turns red, say, turn off all LEDs. So far, so good. It also makes sense to allow turning LEDs on using a command such as turn all LEDs on. The only portion of the command that has changed is the state variable, on and off. We can capture this variable using a slot in Rhino context. Create a slot named LED state. Now add two elements to this, on and off. Go back to turn LED intent and replace off with LED state. We are done with the design of the context, so save the model. Click on the train button. Similar to Porcupine, select a target platform, paste the UUID, read through the term of use, and click on train. Pico Voice Console immediately trains a Rhino model for the active context to run on the target platform. The training takes approximately 5 to 10 seconds. Now it's time to download the models. Go to Porcupine and Rhino models, 
download them into your computer. Let's go back to Shepard. Now select the downloaded files. And then upload the models by clicking on the upload button. As you can see now, the board is listening for the new wake board. Let's check the context again. So it got everything that we wanted and we can speak to our board now. Shepard, turn on all the LEDs. Awesome. So far we have created and tested a voice interface on our microcontroller. To learn how to integrate this with your project, let us start with the demo project that are available for free on PicoVoice GitHub repository. Go to PicoVoice GitHub and select PicoVoice repository. You can clone or download the repository. For this part, you also need to download and install SCM32 IDE Cube, which is the official SC IDE. For recording audio with the mic on SCM32 F411 Discovery Board, you need to download one extra library from the SC website. I'll leave their links in the description. After downloading all the necessary assets, start SCM32 Cube ID. From the File menu, select Open Project from File System. Click on Directory and go to PicoVoice folder. Then select Demo, MCU. Since we are working with SCM32F411, I'm going to select the folder corresponding to that board. Now click Finish. As you can see, the demo project has been added here. In this project, two files are more important to us. First, main.c. This file init and define all variables needed for PicoVoice engine to run correctly. Wake word callback is a function that is called when PicoVoice engine spot the wake word. Interface callback is similar but it is called after Rhino reaches a conclusion on the follow-up command. Here, PicoVoice object is defined, and inside this loop, the recorded audio is passed to the PicoVoice to be processed. The other interesting file for us is pv underscore param header file. In this header file, keyword array and context array are defined. To replace the default wake word and context models, these two arrays need to be changed with the custom build models. The Porcupine and Rhino models that we downloaded before are in binary format, so we need to first convert them to text format and then put them inside this file. A Python script is also shipped inside the PicoVoice repository to do this task. So bring up the terminal again. Go to the root folder, resource folder, a script. To get help, run the script without any input. As seen, we need to provide two paths. A path to our binary model and another path for the output. Since we have both custom Porcupine and Rhino models, we need to run this script twice once for porcupine model and another time for rhino model. Open the output files inside a text editor and copy the generated arrays to the header file. To actually turn the LEDs on and off, once the command receive, we need also to modify the default interface callback. So go to main file and revise the callback function.
As the last step before compiling the project, we have to copy the SD audio library I mentioned earlier to the middleware folder. Find the downloaded library on your computer. After that, go to project directory, go to middleware, open it as folder, and paste the PDM folder here. Great, we are almost done. So let's upload this into the microcontroller and see its performance. Click on the debug button. To see all the communication between the board and the computer, you also need to activate the SWV console and then start trace. Everything is set up, so go and click on resume. The board is ready and listening to us. Shipper, turn on all LEDs. Shipper, turn off all LEDs. That's it. Go ahead and make your project more intelligent using Picovoice AI.